Mr. Constantin van Oranje, on uh, June the 7th at the Blockchain Innovation Conference, we will talk about the uh, influence of blockchain for good. I first want to ask you, what is your experience with blockchain and what's your uh, ideas about blockchain? Well, I think blockchain is uh, potentially the, the next uh, phase of the internet, um, whereby uh, we'll see a further decentralization of uh, a lot of the functions that have now been, been centralized. So I think it's a very, very promising uh, development. I'm seeing a, a great enthusiasm all over the world to, to jump into this from startups. Uh, corporates are aware that uh, a lot is changing and that they need to also uh, be, be in on this development. And also governments mm -hmm. are very keen to, uh, to be accommodating to this development, even though it might actually disrupt certain functions of government. Yeah, yeah. They, they seem to be flexible about it and because it really didn't happen yet, but it's the, it's the experience. Um, if you look at the startups, uh, the startups are really active in the scene and they, they, there is this whole way to finance companies, the initial coin offering, which is uh, you know, now more than, uh, than uh, startups normally get for venture capital. So uh, what do you see uh, how startups react on the blockchain and, and how are they doing that in the Netherlands? Okay, yeah, I mean, the ICO has been quite a revolution in, in funding uh, ventures. Um, I think, um, well, I think a lot of what we're seeing is is like the bubble in the 90s. Um, so it's going to, um, a lot of it's going to be uh, proven not to be that relevant. Um, but in between all those developments, a few, few will be very relevant. And uh, don't forget that Amazon and Google also are from the 90s. So the bubble may, may or the hype may burst, but it will give birth to quite a number of, uh, of initiatives that I think can be quite transformative. Yeah, so we'll talk about during that day, we have the, the Dutch Central Bank, which is, you know, wants to protect everybody. And on the other hand, you have the importance of innovation. There, is, there are a number of very well-funded startups. And on the other hand, in the Netherlands, we have an enormous uh, proof of concept, um, you know, syndrome. We do a lot of proof of concept. But to go from proof of concept to production is really a problem. And I think that I hope that startups, which are well funded, can, can help with that. What, what is your vision on that? Yeah, I think um, uh, this is a technology that is new, has a lot of potential. So it's understandable that many organizations want to jump in and do proof of concepts and do pilots and all that. I think like with every pilot or proof of concept you do, the objective should be that once the, the proof is there, or the pilot is successful, you then go to, uh, you at least have thought about full-scale implementation. Mm -hmm. and so like with this, I think we, um, when we pass the phase of proof of concept, uh, you'd expect implementation as well. That means at government level, but also um, by, by companies that are engaging in this space. Yeah, and are we doing that in the Netherlands? Well, not only in the Netherlands, I think at, at the government, not yet. I mean, seeing a lot of, um, uh, proof of concept, and uh, and and I would be very interesting to see in which domain the government really will embrace this technology. And I think once once governments are actually doing this, they will also enhance the uh, the technology. You'll find that the government is a is a is a trusted institution, at least in Western economies mm -hmm. and societies. And um, and how are they going to play that role uh, with a technology that is decentralized? And so how is that going to redefine how government works? And that's part of a I don't think the part you're going to get through a proof of concept, that's something you get through real implementation. Then you start learning how this technology works and how it affects power relationships, the relationship between government and citizens and other third parties. So I think it's only then when we really start to learn what the power of this technology is. Yeah, and, and the startups are really important to innovate government and to innovate those big companies, right? I mean, that's, that's also one of the roles that startups have to play. I think in general, startups are close to the technology they are uh, they have to be uh, much better than the legacy companies in delivering some kind of value to the customer so they they uh, they have to think much more thoroughly about the customer and if you translate that to government it would be the, the citizens so how are you yeah. serving the citizens much better than the government currently is doing and uh, and, and as, the, as startups are much closer on the technology they uh, they are expected at least to be implementing faster experimenting faster, learning more, and actually also by the doing that also helping governments and corporates uh, innovate faster. Okay, well, we'll talk more about that on uh, June the 7th. We're excited that you're there and that you uh, spend the time uh, with that. 
the the people in the audience will be able to also put their own uh, questions on um, so you you said that you will be uh, available to answer that so um, we'll see you on june the 7th thank you my pleasure see you there